He has been described as fiery, passionate, powerful, innovative, and brilliant. Her works have been performed for audiences all across Canada, in Australia, and in Singapore. She's trained in a wide variety of art disciplines, and her dance works are influenced by Chinese opera, Indian cinema, and Hollywood films of the 40s and 50s, combined with a contemporary style. She is Yvonne Ung. Yvonne Ung's love of dance was born in Singapore while watching Hollywood musicals with her mother, Bertha. If it wasn't for my mother sort of not encouraging me, but allowing me to stay up and watch all these musicals, and I love the musicals of the you know, 40s, 50s, because those artists, they could do everything. They could sing, dance, and act. I wanted to do that. I wanted to, I knew that I wanted to explore all those gamuts. I thought, wow, isn't that amazing? As she grew older, her love for dance deepened. Joseph Ung, her father, was a practical man and told her that dancing wasn't a career. It was only for fun, a hobby. Yvonne tried to please him and decided to pursue hotel and catering management as a career. In 1983, she came to Canada as an international student. She intended to study hotel management, but ended up enrolling in the dance program at York University. It took a long time for Yvonne's father to accept her choice, but eventually he even advised her to settle in Canada. He said that it's better that you're happy and poor in Canada than unhappy and poor in Singapore. And in that, in that sense, he was giving me his blessing, and he was opening the door and letting me really come and find, you know, fruition in my life. Sometime after arriving in Canada, Yvonne wanted to change her status to a landed immigrant. She experienced a very lengthy struggle. Her family wasn't able to visit her, and because she couldn't travel outside of Canada, she didn't see them for several years. But in spite of her struggle with isolation and loneliness, she excelled at school, eventually receiving the Dean's Award for Excellence and graduating with honors with a Bachelor of Arts degree in dance. Uh, when we were in school together, York University in the mid 80s, um, before Yvonne graduated, she was being sought after by professional choreographers to perform in their work. Uh, one of whom is Danny Grossman, who is uh, much revered in the dance community. You know, that, that's, that's already a huge accomplishment. Uh, still in school, studying, performing. And it wasn't just uh, with Danny Grossman. There were a number of other people who had their eye on her. And as soon as she graduated, she was, she was working all over, all over the place with many different choreographers, with many, many, many different styles. In 1994, Yvonne married James Beamish. And the following year, she founded Princess Productions with James as a business advisor. Yvonne is a producer, artist director, choreographer, teacher, and entrepreneur. Princess Productions is one of Canada's leading dance companies, premiering three dance films and producing a substantial body of work. The strength and vitality of Princess Productions flows from diversity, braiding Southeast Asian Chinese heritage with Canadian culture. Well, I've known Yvonne over 15 years, and in that time, I've really come to appreciate and enjoy the Yvonne that is this really unique blend of resourcefulness and versatility and talent and and just to watch her unleash those characteristics on all of her projects you know whether it's a work with a community group like the Toronto Way to Go Arts for Youth program or the developmental series uh, for emerging choreographers series 808 or her own productions, a series called Dance Made in Canada. Uh, she just kind of marshals up this tremendous spirit and draws people in. And, uh, well, she's frankly unstoppable. Yvonne has been nominated for several awards, including the Dora Moore Award for Outstanding Performance. 
In 1996, a Chalmers Art Award allowed Yvonne to travel to Beijing to train and research Chinese traditional and minority dance forms, plus voice in Arabic. And in 2002, she received the prestigious K.M. Hunter Artists Award. She serves on the board of directors for Dance Umbrella of Ontario, Canadian Alliance of Dance Artists, and Artemis Theatre. She's one of the most senior and well-respected members of the dance community. Everyone knows Yvonne Ong. Everyone appreciates her fire and her humor. And Yvonne herself is very quiet about her talents. And um, I think it's wonderful that she's winning this award and is very well deserved. And she really is an inspiration and uh, a wonderful person for us all to have here with us in Toronto. Yvonne's work reflects her uniquely Canadian experience as an immigrant and visible minority, an experience shared by many Canadians and one that translates effectively to worldwide audiences. Canada allows diversity. It really does. It, does. it allows you to really hone in on what you think you're good at, you know? And I know that even though, you know, I come from, I've come from Asia, not all Asian countries are like that, my father's right. I don't think I could have really hooked on to all the things that I truly love and excel in them.